and welcome to this week's YouTube video. Today I'm going to talk about painting a black cat using mainly the three primary colours. So we'll be using mainly red, yellow and blue and white for this painting, but for the really dark areas I will add black. This is a different way to paint a black animal. If you've watched some of my other videos, you'll see I also paint black animals using a different palette, but I think it's a good to have options as every painting is different and you have to adapt according to what you are going to paint. So now I am going to show you the sort of colour that you get when you mix the three primaries together. It's sort of a neutral grey. Using this as your starting point and then looking at the black object you are trying to paint, ask yourself, am I looking at a blue black, a red black or a yellow black? By adding a bit of each of these colours to your neutral grey, you'll see your base colour shift ever so slightly in colour. This will then help you in your painting. So for example, let's look at the finished painting again and you can see the colour shifts within the cat's fur. Don't forget also that mixing red plus blue together produces a very dark purple. So this will give you an ability to get pretty dark with your values. I have reserved my black and red for the darkest areas. So let's have a look at the time lapse video now of the painting. This one has been done in four layers with a very rough underpainting in raw umber plus terps and a bit of white. Unfortunately, the camera isn't able to pick up the subtlety of colours, which is why I showed you the shifts on the photo previously. I will show you a photo of the painting also after each layer is finished so you can see it a little bit more clearly. So you may wonder why I'm showing you another method of painting black objects without using much black paint. There are many ways to mix black from colour. I think this method is the simplest and also it makes your painting process much easier. Which method I use depends upon what I am painting and my reference photo. The reference photo I used for this painting didn't have a strong light source, so the colour shifts in the cat's fur were very subtle. Because black tends to deaden everything, it would make me more likely to produce a painting that was perhaps flat in appearance. That is, my objects would have lacked form. So the sense of form is created in a painting when we shift temperature, so for example, warm to cool to warm, and also cool to warm to cool. It is these temperature shifts that gives our objects an illusion of being three dimensional. So working with black on an object that is black may create problems if the black isn't used with care. I use ivory black and it's important to remember that ivory black has a strong leaning towards blue. So for example, when you mix it with cadmium yellow, you get sort of a lime green colour. And when you add black to your colours, it will also affect them by making them both darker and cooler. So if you are trying to paint something then that is perhaps in flat cool light and you are working with black which is a cool colour, this is going to present you with problems. Mixing your own black gives you the advantage of being able to adjust the colour very subtly which is what I need here. I am working my way around the cat systematically. For each section that I paint, I ask myself, is it more red, more yellow or more blue than the area next to it that I have just painted? I then just keep adjusting my paint mix according to whether I think it is more blue, red or yellow. I do not try and mix up any new colours from scratch. I just keep adjusting my paint mix. The three primaries that I have used in this painting are yellow ochre light, ultramarine deep and cadmium red. 
However, for the really dark areas around the cat's eyes and under its chin, I have used Elysrian Crimson plus black. Using these two colours together gives me a really rich dark black, which I just can't achieve with my three primaries. I should also add that for painting those eyes, I used Ultramarine Deep, Viridian, Cadmium Yellow, Yellow Ochre Light and Cadmium Red plus White, all in varying degrees. Don't forget when mixing greens that red will neutralise the green. This is why you always see the colour opposite with whatever I am painting. So red is the opposite of green and will knock out that saturation where you want a more subtle colour. The background is still painted using the three primaries. It just has a heavier leaning towards yellow or red depending upon what colour I am trying to achieve. If you are struggling to see the subtlety of the colour in your black object, hold a mid-grey card up to the area you are painting and ask yourself if it is more yellow, blue or red than the card and then adjust your painting mix accordingly. So I just want to finish them by saying that I do use black a lot and I am not saying that you should avoid using it but I just wanted to show you another method for painting dark objects. I hope you have found this video useful today. Please like and subscribe if you can and check out my website sarahhallidayart.com where you will find examples of my work and details of online classes that I run. Thank you for watching and see you for the next one.